I bought a job lot of lever locks. They all came to me in a real dirty condition. They came to me with no keys and some of them are broken. So what I'm going to do over the next few months is I'm going to do videos of gutting all these locks. I'm going to cut them all open and have a look at all the different types of levers, what's inside them. But today we're going to have a look at these two. Now you've seen these before many times. These are just Squire Defiance. And I've got two of these. None of them have got keys. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pick both of these locks. And then this one, I'm going to actually send it to somebody. So you're going to have to be in the UK because it's an heavy old lock. And I ain't going to mess about sending it overseas. But yeah, if you want this lock, let me know. And this one, when we've picked it, we're going to, we're going to cut it open and have a look what's inside it. I'm sure these have been opened many times before, but I've never had a look inside. So that's what we're going to do. So let's pick them open first. We'll start with this one. Like I say, I've got no keys for them. Now, this is the one what I'm going to be sending out to someone. So if you do want this, you need to be a subscriber. You need to have commented on at least one of my previous videos. And you need to live in the UK. So it's all locked up. With these, you can tell it's locked because the shackle pops up when it's open. So you'll see as I'm picking it. So we're using the old bent nail and just a simple little pick. Yeah, they're not too bad to pick these. So yeah, we've got some movement off that back lever then. Or I should say we've got some movement off the bolt when I pick the back lever. And you just keep your eye on that shackle because once it's open, it will pop up. one's putting up a bit of a fight there it's got a little bit camera shy on me there let me get it open did you see that then it just popped up a little bit so that's the first one and that's the one I'm going to be sending out like I say it's very dirty inside so I'll give it another bit of a clean up, but when you get it, you might want to clean up a little bit more. And this is the one we're going to cut apart and have a look inside. So let's pick this one. Again, we're going to use the same bit now, tension tool. Now you can see the gunk what's come out of that other lock. And again, it's locked up. Keep your eyes on the shackle. Because like I say, when it opens, you'll see that just pop up slightly. You can use quite heavy tension on these as well. There's no false gates in them. And if you hang around and watch the end of the video, got some movement again. If you hang around and watch the end of the video, you'll see what's inside them. So when you get that one lock, whoever wins it, it'll give you a rough idea on what you're doing when you're picking it. Some more movement then. Work my way back to the front. Probably a bit too heavy on to be honest. You don't need to put heavy tension on these, but you can you can overdo it a little bit. Let me get that one open. So what I'll do is I'll give these a clean up a little bit more so when you when you receive that one, it hopefully will be a bit better to pick because it is a little bit dirty in there still. One last time, if you want this lock, you must have commented on a previous video. Be a subscriber and live in the UK. And you can comment below or you can send me an email and whoever wins or do a draw, you can have that lock. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on and I'm going to grind all these rivets off and we're going to have a look what's inside this one. So as you can see, I've ground all the rivets off, so let's have a look inside it. First of all, your front plate comes off, and then below that is another plate. So we'll move that one off. And that's your levers and your mechanism inside. First of all, let me just show you why it's spring-loaded. 
the shackle. When you push the shackle down, that lever there, which is not actually a lever you have to pick, but the spring on that one goes downwards and all the normal levers, the springs go up. I'll show that in a minute. So when you press that down, the reason why it pops back up is purely because that one lever has got a spring on it at the bottom. And the reason why you have to press it down to lock it is because, I'll show you it again once I take these off, but when you press that down, it moves that lever, which allows the bolt to slide across. Without pressing it down, you can't lock it. And then you can see that sort of Z shape at the top of the bolt goes into the shackle. So let's have a closer look at it. First of all, let's take this top piece off. And then you can see the levers. You can see there's no force gates in any of the levers. That piece comes out as well. And if you look at the bottom plate and the top plate, it's the same plate. And it connects together by that little square shaft. And basically all your levers are compressed in between those two plates. So let's have a quick look at the levers. I've also, inside there, there's a bit of a cutout where all the springs go into. And like I say, that bottom one, the spring just sits on the bottom. So let's have a quick look at these levers. Like I say, nothing to this lock really. They are easy to pick and it's purely down to the fact there's no force gates in them. So that's your first lever. That's your second lever. That's your third lever. Now that piece has just come out, which is a shame, but I can still show you how uh, that fourth lever, which is technically not a lever because you don't pick it. Now you can see the square shaft, which is the bolt, wouldn't be able to go fully across until this was pushed down. Because when you push that down, it moves the lever down. So you don't actually pick that lever. When it's fully pressed and you're picking them, all the other levers are still springy, but that one is solid. You can't pick it. And the reason why you can't pick it is because it's it's in the bottom of the shackle. So when you're picking, you pick the three levers at the front and then you have to duck underneath that one and pick the two behind it. And that's why you can't pick that one because it's up against the shackle. So let's get this one out now. And then behind that, you've got two more levers. And then you've got the plate at the back. Like I say, is the same as the plate at the front. And basically, they just sandwich all the levers together. That's your shackle. That's the bare body. And like I say, that connects into the shackle. And as soon as you pick it, that one pushes the shackle up. So when I was picking it, like I say, the shackle spring loaded and it just pops up. So anyway, that's all the insides of a Squire Defiant. If you've never picked one, then they're worth picking. They're nice locks to pick. And like I say, I am going to give that other one away. All you need to do is send me an email or comment and I'll do a little draw and send it off to someone. So that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Draw a bit.